the first question is just to introduce yourself and your role at your publishing company. My name is Kelsey Attard. I'm the managing editor at Freehand Books, uh, which is a small literary press based in Calgary that publishes um, literary fiction, um, some creative nonfiction and poetry and graphic um, novels and graphic memoir as well. What exactly is a managing editor? Typically, um, a managing editor is the person at a press who is managing um, kind of all aspects of the production of the book. So they wouldn't be the one um, editing the book in, in most cases, but once the manuscript is ready, uh, is past that editorial stage, is ushering it through the process of um, production, which includes working with the designer, the back and forths with um, proofreaders and the author and collating kind of all of the proof, proofing changes, ensuring that those changes happen, as well as um, coordinating with the printer, getting, getting books through um, reprints into the system and keeping all those files in order. Um, I think those are some of the jobs that kind of make up the, the bulk of a, of a managing editor role. Now, if you could please walk us through a typical day at work and then maybe a not so typical day. Every day is different and brings, um, you know, its own challenges to it. But a typical day might look something like, you know, sitting down at my computer, opening up my inbox and then taking a look at the calendar for the day and seeing, you know, OK, there's a, a meeting with an author this morning um, to talk about the book that they're working on that's in production for next year. Uh, in the afternoon, there might be a cover design conversation with our, with our designer, um, maybe a, a meeting of one of the associations that I'm a part of. And then in between those things, trying to figure out, okay, when, when during all, when between these meetings and everything, um, can I actually have a chance to read some, some of the manuscripts uh, or do some work on some manuscripts? Uh, just or write some catalog copy or any of those things that just requires you to actually be able to focus for more than like 30 seconds at a time. And then maybe a not typical day, I don't know, a day when no one emails you and you just get to like read a book for the whole day. <laughs> That's kind of the dream. How does your role fit into the structure of your publishing house and why is it important? At Freehand, um, we're a, a very small publisher. We publish six six to eight books a year something like that and I'm the managing editor and I'm the only full-time staff member wearing all hats means that I'm also involved in in marketing you know like the bibliodata creation writing catalog copy dealing with the authors just kind of it's it's yeah lots of switching between um, various parts of the publishing process but I love being involved you know from start to finish of, of the book. What is your favorite part of your job? Opening up that box of books that you see, like we, we did this, we made this um, is um, always a wonderful feeling, but I get kind of the same sort of feeling at various stages uh, along the process as well. Like seeing the proofs for the first time, like, ah, it's gone from a manuscript to this thing that's looking like a book and just seeing, you know, how it's going to be laid out on the page. Yeah, just feeling a part, knowing, knowing that I've been a part of um, the creation of, of a lot of books that I'm really proud of is um, something that I'm really proud of. Let's talk about what advice you would give to someone who wants to work in publishing. There's a lot more to publishing than just editorial. Most of the roles in publishing are not editorial. The careers are long and paths are winding that, you know, where you start is not necessarily where you end up. Um, and so if, you know, being a part of the publishing world is something that um, you, you really want to do that to, you know, be willing to look outside of editorial um, and, you know, learn about a completely different part of the process. Why do you think independent Canadian publishing is important? We don't all need to or want to exclusively read the same three books as everyone else. And that's where I think that Canadian independent publishers um, really have the opportunity to shine 
um, to discover, you know, local gems. I think there's incredible value in representing and publishing the works of many more people than just the two or three um, superstars. What are your hopes for the future of publishing? Well, I hope that we're able to continue to thrive. And I hope that, you know, we're able to continue to do the things that we do so well, while also being open to the necessary change that um, is coming and, and that needs to happen within the industry. Publishing has, you know, by kind of necessity, this gatekeeping role. I hope that publishing at all levels, um, from, you know, from the small publishers um, to, to the, the huge publishers, um, are able to adapt and, and open to, you know, having some really difficult conversations and having, making some really difficult decisions in terms of that, you know, the, the way we do things. And I think we'll be better for it with, with those conversations. Mm-hmm.